Hello mates, I'm Kiran Zadav here. In this session, I will teach you Spring Boot application deployment in AWS using Elastic Beanstalk and EC2 instance. For that, we'll start with our session here, then come up with the Chrome browser. Just type here Spring Initializer. We are creating here Spring Boot project. Project has Maven, language as Java. Spring Boot version, we are using 3.4.0. Project information, package name, we are giving here com.fullstack. Then artifact, we are giving our application name here, Spring Boot Core Example. Now refactor the base package. Then packaging as jar, Java version 17. Adding dependencies here, Spring Wave itself available in built Rocket server and it will help us to create the REST API. Now application is created within minute. We will copy the, our application and paste in particular folder. Now simply right click here and to extract the application. Once it extracted, then we'll copy the path of our application and coming to IntelliJ. Goes to File, New, Project from Existing Sources and give the path of our application. Okay, this is create the Maven project. I want to open in new window. Once it open here successfully, then Spring Boot version 3.4.0, the compatible Swagger UI dependency we need to add here. Then I will add this dependency from my local system. You can simply copy it from our GitHub itself. Then once it added, then coming to SRC main Java, right click on base package com full stack, new package, the package name we are giving here controller package. And then right click on controller package, new Java class, the Java class name we are giving here application mm -hmm. controller. Now we'll annotate with here controller class as at rest controller. Next we require at request mapping. And here we are mentioning base API as the API itself. Then here we are using get mapping, and this is default API we are giving here. Then public response entity, it will be type of we are passing here string. And method name we are giving say hello. This is just basic API we are writing here. This will be written response entity dot ok, and we are giving here welcome to full stack. Java developer Pune. Now one more API we are going to write. This is get mapping and API name we are giving here contact us. This will be again public response entity. Type it will be where written string type of message and here I am giving this is contact us as a method name. Now it's simply to return. This will be response into dot ok and we are passing here string type of message. In your case, you can pass any message. I am just passing here full stack contact us information. Then now coming to Maven and just build the project. MVN clean space install. See, it will start to build our application. Then we are waiting to see build its success there right yeah we are just waiting to see build the success message and once build is success then we are going to run our this basic application see our build is success here build is success then simply reload the project and coming to main class and simply run this application see so it will start to run our application then meanwhile we'll come up with the swagger you can simply hit here localhost colon h or h or forward slash swagger hyphen your dot html and see swagger also up and running and just try it out use the api see here is available output right yeah now coming to next api contact us api try it out it will give us the contact us information here see the information is coming on screen directly right yeah then now whatever application we have created we just created in local and we run it in local now here we have available jar file if you are coming with the target folder, there is available jar file. Simply right click and then you can simply say open in explorer. Now this jar file we are going to deploy on AWS. For that first of two, you can simply come up with the AWS here from browser and just type here AWS sign in. AWS console you can simply type there. And here you, you need to do sign up and sign in. See there is available options, right? Yeah. If you don't have your account available, then you can simply go to the sign up and then you can go to the sign in. In my case, I already 
I have already account available and already sign in with this AWS account. Then here all the services are available here. If you are coming with all services, all the services it will be listed by start with A, right? Alphabetic order. But we are directly jumping to Elastic Beanstalk here. Then here you can simply click on Elastic Beanstalk. Otherwise, you can simply search here as well. Elastic Beanstalk. Okay. So here is available Elastic Beanstalk. Run and manage the web application. Spring Boot, it means we are creating the web application. Click on Elastic Beanstalk. And then here we'll go ahead and we'll create the application environment. You can simply say. Then here, web server environment, application name, I'm giving here Spring Boot for example. You can give any name of your application. Then here, if you want to suggest domain name, you can give the domain as well and it will be happened with this uh, information here. Now platform, we are using here Java language and the Java version we are using 17. Then here you can simply select upload your code and once we are going to select here upload your code, we must know to give here a version as well. I am just passing here version as a 1.3. Now you can pass any version 1.0, 1.2, 1.3, whatever. Then here we are going to upload our local file. For that perspective, you can simply choose file here. And the file, once we are going to choose, we must know to give our path also. Then first I will copy the path and then choose the file and the corresponding file. Path, you can simply click here, you will be able to see the file. See the today's timestamp available there. Now simply select the file and then this is single instance version free tier application here. Now simply click on next. The next window we need to create here I am role as well. See here you can simply use uh, services access service role and we are going out with the use an existing service role. But here I want to show you how to create the I am role. For that perspective, here you will be able to see existing roles. But if you are trying first time, there is no any single role, right? Then how to create the IAM role? Then you can simply come up with here, open in another tab. And here you can simply type in search IAM role. Otherwise, simply click on IAM directly, it will come there. Otherwise, search IAM there, okay? You will be able to like see there is option available roles. And then you can simply click on create a role. Then here, uh, we need to give like a uh, checkbox as AWS service we are selecting here and use case we are just using here EC2 is itself actually we are using here. Now simply click on next and then we need to search here policies. For policies perspective we need here those three policies then we are using here this is AWS Elastic Beanstalk web tier. See then there is available worker tier as well and one more we are going to use here multi container also multi container docker yeah you can simply select those three now once you are going to select this see here is highlighted we have selected those three uh, policies then simply click on next now we need to mention here our role name as well i am just giving here core example user then now simply click on create a role see role is created within seconds right yeah then again, you can, you can simply come up with this window and simply refresh it. Simply refresh it. Now you will be able to see core example user. See the topmost user available core example user here, right? Yeah. Now simply select here EC2 instance profile as well, core example user. Then simply click on next. Then again, we need to wait for some time to go ahead with the next. Then here you can keep default as it is. Again, click on next. Again, simply click on next, keep default as it is. And here we are just going to add environment property. Why we are going to add environment property? Because our Spring Boot working on 8080 port number, but here a uh, Tomcat, uh, the port number is 5000. That's why we are passing here server underscore port 5000. Yeah. Now simply click on next. Now, here you can simply click on submit. Yeah, it will start uh, like, then you can simply go through the events, share, log as well. It will take at least two to three minutes actually to deploy our application. Then meanwhile, I will uh, give some brief about uh, what is EC2, what is uh, Elastic Beanstalk. 
see in this application we are deploying spring boot jar file on aws using elastic beanstalk what is ec ec2 ec2 it means you can simply say amazon web services elastic compute cloud and aws ec2 provides a scalable virtual servers instances to run applications it gives full control over the operating system and resources allowing customization direct server management and hosting option in the cloud platform then what is elastic beanstalk see aws elastic beanstalk elastic beanstalk is a platform as a service that's called you can simply say pass for deploying and managing the applications it handles infrastructure provisioning scaling and monitoring while you focus on writing your code you simply upload your applications it means jar file and it automates deployment and operations it means developer not need to worry about that actually okay yeah those uh, available in is elastic beanstalk itself then see now we'll see what is the status of our application we are just waiting to see uh, uh, here is health it's showing pending but we are just waiting for to see the domain url there once domain url is available then we'll test our application by using swagger ui first i will show in chrome itself actually and then we'll come up with the swagger ui yes our domain is ready here and if you want to check logs and everything right you can simply go ahead with the event health and everything now simply click on uh, this domain url it will redirect to another page actually another window you can simply say and here first i will show you how to test the apis on chrome browser we created the here basic apis right get api itself so definitely you will be able to run it through chrome browser as well then i am passing here forward slash as api now we are expecting it it will show us welcome to full stack java developer pune then see on screen yeah it's taking some time because still uh, deployment is yeah here is it output right yeah now if you are passing here after api if you are passing contact us right contact us definitely you will be able to see full stack java developer contact information here see this is the contact information available on screen right yeah this information i hope you are able to see on screen as well then now uh, we are just trying to test it using swagger ui then you can simply remove this one and simply type here swagger hyphen ui dot html yes we are very excited to see the swagger ui as well right yeah see swagger also up and running and first api we are going to test this is the uh, default api and the api output it will show us welcome to full stack java developer pune we are just waiting for swagger as well yeah simply refresh the web page yeah swagger is up and running simply try it out execute see it will give us the output as welcome to full stack java developer pune and one more api we have available contact us api right yeah we are just trying to try it out and then execute see here is available our full stack java developer contact information yeah that's it in this session but till if you are facing any difficulties feel free to add your comment in comment box and thanks for watching this video please do like share and subscribe this channel to get more updates yeah see you in next video